Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. <clears throat> okay, Vladimir. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Catch a smile out there. Beta grav range of 21 light years. Yeah, let's see. It's down, we've got. Uh, Freya. Three. And Piazzi. Seven. And the Starborn told us there's one on Luna. And we need to have a ship with 21 grav, a 21 light year grav range. Now let's see here. Can I refit Star Turkey for 21 light years? Hey, you might want this. Got anything you need to offer? Need some work done? Sure, how about it? Currently, we have a jump range of 20 light years. We need to either reduce that or increase our graph thrust. Currently using an R3000 Alpha, which has the thrust of 23. Let's see, we have in grav drives. Using this one. The Aurora is 30. The so 3000 is 23 thrust. And this is 30 thrust. reactor is 29 pips of power. Let's see if we can do better. I mean, nominally, it requires a lot more training than we have. You never know. Yeah, we're not going to get anywhere near. These all require more piloting than we got. Oh, because they're These are all class Bs and so on. But that gets us what we want. And this says ship contains... Oh no. Oh, I didn't notice this was class B reactor... Uh, class B graph drive. 
Darn it. The 23 is what we had. Helios 400 gets us up to 27. Which is a 23 light year grav range. Okay, that'll do. I'm gonna... Hide these away a little. That's good. Now, let's see what's on the ship. When you do the ship like that, a lot of the de debris on the ship gets swept up. So we've got some resources we can sell. We still have our 25 ship parts. We're good. We still have our ship crew set up properly. Vasco's still at the outpost. He would boost our shield, any EM weapons we attach, and give us a, re a uh, reactor pip. Um, I could just have Andresia be my companion, because we don't use energy weapon systems. That works. We are, and then we Put Vasco on the Star Turkey. Andresia is following me. Make sure we spend all our skill points. And onward we go. Yazzie 7A. Set up as my companion. Oh, I bet you it un I bet you they unfollowed me at one point. Probably during the Than the speed of light. 
And none of that grab tech cheating. I wish there was a way to find companions. She is. What is it? I look forward to it. Yes, you need me? If I can take a few things, I will. She should still be all kitted out. Yep. Right. And now we can go. Anything I can artifact. help you with, Captain? Another planet without native life. All we need to concern ourselves with then is other visitors. Winner takes all these different is it not?
before we engage, what I want to have is combat. Uh, let's hit him with a. Oh, wait, we need to try that creator's piece. If I get him to drop his weapon. Artifact is Freya 3. Just way out there. Be back in our own ship. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. That's all we need. You're cleared for landing at Aquila City. Next jump to Ufred. <clears throat>
sounds like it's going to be an extended mission. I'm going to take a quick break before it so we can push on through the hole of Entangled. Touchdown in one setting.